Whose wood? <laughs> Whoa. Holy moly. You can use a stylus. I don't want to use a stylus. Oh. Um. What's this? New. Oh. Anything over here, all the way to the right. There's another block here. There's a party going on. Oh, okay, there's a there's a secret. Oh, I'm so smart. There we go. Hey, I think I finally understand how the game works. It only took me in six whole levels. <laughs> I'm such a quick learner. the score for I didn't get to read it. Whatever. I know I had to be a speed reader to play this game. But um, I guess you do have to have comprehension of at least a uh, third grader. Which is what I'm lacking. Uh hmm. so how the heck do I Out of that tube. I guess if I go down here, it still might ex might be an exit tube. Game just takes a little bit of help. It doesn't uh, give me a game over or anything. I don't know if there's li lives in this game or not. I'm actually gonna go to the right on this screen. So I want to find out. I wanna find the, I wanna find the tube that exits. Well, maybe this is it. Could this really be it? That's not the toad I was, uh, I was trying to get, but I'll take them all the same. Alright, cool. Now maybe this will exit me out of the other two. Nope. Huh. Um. Holy moly, that's a lot of points. I can't slide while I have a item picked up. Oh no, I think I'm gonna go back. 
I want to explore that other part of the stage before uh, before I exit. Because let's get let's get real here. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna replay this game for any reason. I'll look I'll be lucky if I actually complete it. Let alone on, drop off me. Jeez, this dude really stick to you in this game. Please die, please. No. Yes. That's the right tube. Yes, the right tube. God, I'm such a lame brain. Oh, hey, I need to be happy, friendly, and positive. Hoorah! I think I have. Uh... Whoa! Almost. Almost ran into that dude, no doubt. Yay, I found the toter! But I already seen the end of the stage, so I still always I always miss the middle toad. How could I How could I always be so good at missing the middle toad? Oh wow. How could I be so good at falling off every platform? I'm actually more curious about what the story of this game is. Hmm. Oh wow, how'd I get over there? That's where the other toad is. I have no idea how the heck to get over there. There must be a secret path in the other parts of the stage that, that I totally uh, glossed over. Well, I know where the other toad is, at least I don't know how to get there. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright. Might as well just leave before I die. <laughs> well, I don't know if this game has live, but I guess if I run out of health, I at least have to start the stage over. That would be pretty annoying. Alright, let's go. Peach time. Oh, an uh, auto scroller. Oh, yeah, that's right. Press down, the umbrella eats the enemy you're carrying. I forgot about that. Whoa! There you go. Oh, yo. Oh, uh, that's what they're expecting you to do. I should go smack the. Yeah, I can. Okay, I can smack the. Um, uh, I was gonna say, wait a minute, I goofed up, but nope. I can still use my umbrella to smack those things. Maybe I throw. My, no. Whoa, yo. Oh no. I guess, uh, maybe I can... Oh wow, he came back to life. He's gonna damage me, but that's alright. I'm getting an imaginary piece, puzzle piece here that I don't know what it is. Ooh. I don't need more emotion, but I need more health. Look at that. Princess Peach with the platforming moves. What is that thing? Oh, that thing fell on my head the last time. Oh, come on, I smacked that thing with the umbrella. Ah! Okay. Alright. Oh! I thought this game was harder than it was. Maybe I'm just remembering stuff wrong. Okay, so I can't drop below platforms. Oh, so how in the heck do I get over there then? Who really knows? Let's go. 
Ah. Wow. The news. The news are real. Alright, I'm really curious. How in the heck do I get down below there? Because it seems like. And obviously, it seems like there's a bottomless pit across the entire stage. And people just show up for two seconds and leave. They're like, oh, this game sucks. Oh, sorry, bros, but someone's always got to be first. Can't always have a chat room full of, full of jerks. Hey, Miss Camille, how you doing? Oh, for playing this game, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I just, it just randomly popped into my head. I played it one time a long time ago, but I never finished it. I doubt I'll finish it today, but I don't know, it just seemed like a fun game to play. Although, I'm, I'm, I'm probably missing stuff, because I haven't really used my emotions yet, but... Only game on the system worth playing. Well, I guess so. I've, I've never really played much on DS. But I really don't know too many games on DS. Alright, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Wait, why couldn't I... What does this do? Can I do something? Can I cry on that thing and... It's like a... It's like a, uh... Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm oh, a puzzle master. A loud noise came from somewhere. Oh no! Peach, stop crying, please! <laughs> Alright, a loud noise came from somewhere. Oh look, a toad. I always miss the toad that's in the middle. I think I've played every stage I've played now. I always... I always... miss the toad in the middle. Okay, a loud noise came from somewhere. I have to investigate to see what this, what this loud noise is about. I don't have a I don't have a timer, so I don't have to worry about running out of time. Was I supposed to keep on crying? A loud noise came. Maybe I have to backtrack. No, I would. Not great. So got a creep following everywhere. I go. Okay. Well. Sorry, you're not having a good day, but... Oh, there it is. But, yeah. But, yep, there's a lot of, uh... It's good that you support all the... All your loyal, uh, subjects. Uh, I get to burn the bridge down. It's kind of silly they made Peach... It, <laughs> they made... They gave Peach... <laughs> Uh, special abilities that are emotions. Are they trying to, are, are, are they trying to like uh, use that as a metaphor or something? Okay. I was trying to hold A so I could uh, float, but it wasn't working for some reason. Alright, go. There we go. See, it's the last toad, so I still missed. I still missed a toad. Well, at least I found that one secret. That would have been better than finding no secrets. This this game is just really relaxing. It's nice and colorful, and the music so soft and upbeat. Sometimes I don't want uh, I don't want rocking out uh, crazy music in games. I just want something nice and peaceful. I always get the radish. Yeah, Peach, it was easy. I kind of remember this game being hard, though. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm just mistaken. This game hasn't been really that hard at all. I think I have enough for the next item. Oh, I do. This ability, Enhancing Umbrella, allows you to pound down. Oh, I can ground pound now. I don't know who invented the ground pound ability, but it's probably one of the most uh, fun abilities 
that was thought up for platform games. Oh, did you sub, Daddy? Yo, Bo Hurts, thanks for uh, following. I appreciate it. I don't know. I don't know, Miss Camille, if he subbed back or not. Uh, but I did sub to him. Oh, hey, Bo Hurts. How's it going? I don't have my uh, DS emulator window uh, uh, active. That's why I wasn't taking my controller inputs. I couldn't get out of the code shop. I couldn't, couldn't figure out why, but I'm all good with just browsing through the retro category and thought this game was interesting. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's called Super Princess Peach for the DS. Came out, I guess, in like 2005, I think. And it's actually a fully, uh, a fully. Uh, a full game starring Peach. It's a platform game. She has uh, different emotions she can do that give her uh, special abilities. She has a cute little umbrella. You can uh, hit enemies with it. You can uh, jump on en enemies and it'll knock them down. You can pick them up with the umbrella and throw them. So it has a lot of different Mario mechanics thrown into the game. Alright, Miss Camille. No worries, I mean, but, but I followed him. So. Oh, hey Camille, what's up? Oh, and Bo, if you're still hanging out in the chat and you're wondering who else I'm talking to, I also uh, stream on YouTube as well, so I have a YouTube chat and a Twitch chat. I've actually never played it or even heard of it. I've been wondering if they would make a game starring Peach. Oh yeah, they, they said this game's like at least... Wow, this game's almost 15 years old, I think. Like 13 years old? So yeah, uh, I don't know if there's any other games starring Peach, but yeah, Nintendo DS. Super Princess Peach. Really cute, calm, and very colorful. And I can float too, just like in Mario 2. Oh yeah, I noticed the comments were from YouTube as well. I'm definitely gonna try it out. Yeah, it's cool, Bo. I'm glad I can, uh... Uh... Share this game with someone who didn't know about it. I mean, it's, it's not a super popular game, but, uh... I wouldn't say it's exactly it's a super rare game either, but but yeah, I can understand pe people looking over this, this one. Cause hardly anybody ever talks about it. They don't even make uh, they don't even make like jokes about the game about how it's sickeningly sickeningly cute it is, or you know stuff like that. And also that the game starring a woman where you can uh, where she gets uh, angry, sad, you know, giddy. And, uh, happy. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's almost like a metaphor for something. Oh yeah, Camille, welcome back. I'm still playing Princess Peach. I'm not very far yet, but... Again, I don't really play games at super lightning-fast speeds, nor am I good at games, so, you know, I probably died a handful of times already. All the, yeah, all, all the moods, yeah, exactly, that's what I was wondering too, it, they had to have done that on purpose, giving her all those, uh, you know, if, um, stereotypical emotions, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but, you know, of course, you know, I'm not some chauvinistic pig or whatever, but, hey, I, you know, it's just too, it's too much of a coincidence that they made Princess Peach uh, o overly emotional. Oh yeah, Camille, is that right? I'm the first person you ever saw stream it. Well, I've seen a couple people on Twitch stream it, so if you're not familiar with Twitch, um, then yeah, I don't think I've ever seen any anybody on YouTube stream it. I'm sure there's YouTube videos of it, but you know they're probably old by now. Yeah, like I said this this game is actually good, and it's starring Peach, and it's just a wacky little, you know, 2D platformer with, like, some light puzzle mechanics. See, you can pick stuff up with, with, with your umbrella and throw it. You actually collect coins in this game and you can buy power-ups. Like, I bought this uh, ground pound ability and this float ability. In fact, I haven't even been using the ground pound ability yet. I forgot I had it. 
No, I follow a bunch of retro streamers and, and we're part of a community as well, and I've never heard of it either. So it must have been popular. No, I can't imagine this game was ever popular. So I think I've seen a couple of streamers play as like kind of like a joke type game, but yeah, I've only ever seen it like once or twice on Twitch over like the past, you know, almost 10 years that I've been watching Twitch, or, or Twitch and Justin TV. It's good, just different. Yeah, it's it's different, but you know, just because it's different, I mean, that doesn't mean it's bad. It's actually pretty clever and way unique. It's a lot more clever than what any Mario game has been over the past like ten years. Well, I mean, two D Mario game, because you know, the new Super Mario Brothers are just pretty much copies and pastes. You know, they had the DS one, which is just a, and then they had the one on Wii, which is a copy and paste from the DS game. And the 3DS had new Super Mario Brothers two, which is just another copy paste game. Oh no, I'm dying. I'm not even paying attention. Yeah, Bo, it is good. And again, thanks for the follow. I don't get too many uh, people stopping by my Twitch chat just to uh, hang out. It's nice to have someone in, 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 in here. And of course, all my people on YouTube. I have a, I have great support over YouTube. I got in with a community of people who like retro games, so they've definitely been helping me uh, on YouTube a lot. So it's cool. And yeah, community. I also like the music too. It's 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 catchy, but yeah, it's just so nice and uh, you know relaxing me music. Let's see if I can actually pay attention now and not die. I still need I still need a lot of practice at trying to chat while playing. <laughs> Oh, is that right, Miss Camille? Is he still streaming Minecraft? So I was in his Minecraft stream, and um, yeah, he was having some troll problems and stuff like that. That's great to hear, and no problem. How do you multi-stream on YouTube at the same time with the same chat? Um, well, you can use a service called Restream.io, or you can um set up your own uh program which is uh, called an RMTP server so you're basically you basically um, tell your o OBS to stream to your RMTP server and then your RMTP server will will broadcast it out to however many connections your it, your internet connection can handle so uh, that's what I'm doing I actually have a two PC setup and so OBS is uh, capturing the, the gameplay and I'm streaming it to my own little RTMP server, and it's actually sending it to uh, YouTube and Twitch at the same time. That a pretty fast internet connection. So, I mean, I've I've seen a couple people on Twitch stream to to Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer at the same time. So, there's other people doing it. That's how I got the idea. But if you don't want to go through all the hassle of setting up your own your own little server, then you can use a service called Restream.io. I think they allow you to use a, they allow you to have up to one re restream for free, but if you want more than one restream, then they charge you like I don't know, it's something like a ten dollars a month or something like that. But re restream IO is also the chat client I'm using, and that's free, so you can uh so you can uh capture that with your OBS so you can see both chats at the same time. And you get to see the little icon next to their name so you know who's who and what service they're using. Well, there's little to no support, just didn't say there's so much because I don't like Minecraft so much. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of Minecraft either. I was just hanging out in his stream this morning, just, you know, just to support. And also, he made me a mod there, so I figured I'd help, you know, help him out and show him that I appreciate, you know, him making me a mod and all that. That could be something worth, worth it if you have the money to get... All right, now I'm not really worried about making money. I just sort of started streaming as a hobby, cause you know, uh, you know, I, I I used to like video games a lot more than what I have over the past couple years. So I thought maybe if I started streaming, you know, it might give me uh might give me uh might reignite my passion for video games. 
and it has been because, like I said, on you, you, YouTube, I actually have some a lot of awesome people who, who who watch me on a pretty regular basis. So that does help out too. I just decided to throw it up on Twitch because I figured, you know, why not? I'm not like obligated to stream on Twitch because you know I'm not like they're not paying me or anything. So it's like. You know, why not stream on Twitch too? I mean, I might I might find a couple cool people on there as well. Okay, I gotta pay attention. These fireballs killed me the last time. Okay. I need a heart. Alright. Okay. Die. I like building things too, but I'm too old for Minecraft. Oh, well, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's really an age limit for Minecraft. I mean, I guess some people, you know, have a have a mentality of a, of, of a in, in, immature person, but, you know, I'm sure there's adults that play Minecraft. Okay, I have to pay attention. I, I don't want to die again. Still got a world where we build 100 massive squares and we invite people and come to build in their own pixel art. Yeah, that I think that's one of the cool things about Minecraft, where you can like uh, set up your own server and have people you trust come in and actually build stuff instead of having you know jerks come in and ruin all your stuff to spend time on. But I don't really play Minecraft because I don't I'm not good at creating stuff, so uh, the game really doesn't offer a whole lot for me. Uh, uh, other than just a reminder that, uh, you know, I'm bad at uh, building and creating stuff. Anyway, let's see what Bo says. I, I missed his message. Yeah, that's pretty much my thought process as well. And I feel you with the whole reigniting the spark. Yeah, you know, just, you know, personal issues and all that. Just don't really, you know, find much joy in many things nowadays. So I figure, you know, hey, you know, if I start a YouTube channel and just capture some gameplay, you know, it might actually make it feel like I'm doing it for a purpose instead of just, you know, wasting my life playing a game that I'm not, I don't really like to begin with. But streaming has started helping out a lot with me liking games, because I've just been streaming all these, you know, silly games. I don't really play, like, too many modern games. I don't play, like, I don't play in the stream, like, all the classic retro games like Mario and Sonic. Unless someone requests me to play it, I'll play it, but, you know, I just feel like, you know, I could add nothing to playing Sonic, because I'm not a speedrunner, you know, I'm not like a entertaining YouTube personality, I'm just some dude sitting here playing games, so you gotta have a little bit of something that's different, that sets me apart, I guess. So I've been playing lots of, like, anime games, lots of Japanese import games, just silly, like, feed em up games, stuff like that. Yeah, I miss Camille, that's true. There probably are more adults who play YouTube or play yeah, play YouTube, play Minecraft than uh than there are kids. At least, you know, by adults I mean, you know, people eighteen and older. Now there might not be like too many fifty plus people playing Minecraft, but you know, it's, it's, but you, ne you, ne you never know, there might be some fifty plus people also playing mine Minecraft. Okay, I was waiting to see if the scr if, if this if the screen was gonna scroll past me and kill me, or if it was gonna stop at the top here. Now I mostly play shitty ones and torture myself with them when I play. Oh, purposely bad games? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'll play that if someone asks me to play, like, really bad games, but I really don't get a whole lot from, you know, playing really bad games just for my own, just for my own, uh, you know, enjoyment, <laughs> or lack thereof enjoyment. Like all the games, angry video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't really find, like, you know, playing bad games on purpose really that fun unless of course you know you know someone's watching me play bad games and just, we're all just joking about how bad the game is <laughs> that, that's fun but nah, I wouldn't play like a, a terrible game just uh, just for my own curiosity Cause I get frustrated with good games so I couldn't imagine <laughs> I couldn't imagine how frustrating playing a bad game would be thank you so much for subbing Mr. Max oh Miss Camille no problem man like I said, you've been supportive of me so ever, ever since I started streaming, so I could, you know, if you ask a favor of me, you know, I can do it. Especially something as simple as follow, following somebody on YouTube. 
ha ha ha, the old retro games are terrible when it comes to difficulty. Yeah, for real, I'm finding that out. I'm finding that out because, um, I was trying to play even, like, a Splatterhouse on Turbo Graphics 16, and, like, the first, like, almost two hours of playing that game, it was, it was rough. I finally did get a decent run put together, I made it all up to the last boss with, like, one life left, no continues, and I choked on him so hard, and I haven't gone back to it yet. It was definitely a struggle, but, you know, I, I stuck in there, I kept replaying and replaying and replaying, and I did sort of learn a little bit about it, so... I was able to get to the last boss, so that's a victory in my book. You play what you feel like playing, and that's what makes your streams good to watch. Yeah, I mean, that's what I want. I don't want to stream a game that, you know, I'm not going to like. Like, I mean, maybe, maybe, a huge maybe. I know I'll never become, like, a, you know, a thousand plus streamer or whatever, but I don't really care right now about that, but... You know, maybe if that's what I had to do, if I wanted to become like a, you know, the next big streamer or YouTuber, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll obviously have to do that, I guess, but, you know, you hear a lot of those dudes talk sometimes, and it's like, oh man, you know, I hate this game so bad, but yet they torture themselves to do it because the people who watch them pretty much demand them to do it, or they like threaten to like, you know, stop watching them and, you know, and stuff like that. You know, that's so, that's so sleazy, but, yeah, I don't think I would be able to handle that. That's why I just want to play wacky, goofy games that, I, that I'm that i not familiar with even, because, you know, I just want to have fun. And if someone else, you know, finds out about these stupid games that I play and they like them too, hey, you know, I've kind of, like, uh, did somebody a favor. Yeah, Wacky Goofy are good, yeah. Like I said, uh, I do have a YouTube channel, that's where most of my streams are. I do have some VODs on Twitch, if you wanna, if you wanna go through them. I'm playing some really silly games. Uh, a lot of Japanese import games from Super Famicom, and, uh, TurboGrafx-16 games. In fact, after I'm done with Princess Peach here, I don't know if I'll beat the game on stream today, but, but when, when I'm done playing the game, I'm gonna play some other pretty silly games after this. I'm gonna, I plan to play all games today that uh, star uh, female lead characters. I've never been able to play a game that I hate, even if it would make me money or my channel popular. Yeah, well, that's kind of what I'm trying to do too. Like I said, I don't really have any high expectations of becoming like a Twitch millionaire or a YouTube millionaire, so <laughs> I might as well enjoy what I'm trying to do or I'll just give up. Because this is not the first time I tried streaming. I tried streaming about two years ago and gave up because, you know, I just got bored. <laughs> but I'm actually going to try to stick it out a little bit longer this, this time. Yo, what was that? Why did that thing scream at me? Okay. Oh, he's trying to drop those fruits on me, I guess. Alright. Can I kill that guy? Oh, I can. Good. I should have tried to jump across these platforms here. Uh... Okay. The game's not so much, but... The cartoon, oh yes. Oh, the miss... Oh, Captain Planet. Yeah, the bad game that Captain Planet yesterday. That game was horrible. But they do give you a uh, invincibility game mode, so I mean, if you really wanted to see the content, I guess you just play that mode and, you know, then problem solved. That's funny, that Captain America game on uh, Mega Drive, it's the only game i ever seen that had a built-in invincibility mode. You just selected it, they, they called it cheat mode on, on the difficulty screen. And you just, you just pick cheat mode and you're invincible. They knew the game was a complete pile of trash, and, uh... That's the only way they could probably fathom releasing the game. Like, well, man, they shouldn't complain. They got a cheat mode, you know? Just play that. But I don't even think that game was ever released in the United States. I think it was, uh, Japan and... or EU only. 
may request that terrible game from his Maximus. You like it? Well, I mean, I enjoyed it because, like I said, other people were watching me struggle, and I could make like stupid jokes about it. But I, if I had picked up that game as a kid, I would have probably, I probably would have cried myself to sleep because that would have been the worst experience I ever had in my life. If I played, if I had to play that game for like enjoyment reasons. Uh, hmm. I got a bunch of. Oh, I don't. Okay, I did. That's right. I spent 500 coins on that ground pound ability that I haven't used yet. Alright. I remember when I rent the uh, Captain Planet game for the first time as a kid. Oh, wow. That's a oh, is that the uh, the Mega Drive one I'm talking about? Maybe? Is that the one you actually rented as a kid? I think there was a Captain Planet. Wasn't there a Captain Planet game for the NES, too? Or am I just imagining things? Huh. I'm almost tempted to use my uh, Peach ability to... Oh, I don't have to because I car I forgot I carried the spring with me. I was, I was just getting ready to say I was going to use my uh, Happy ability to float up in the air, but I don't have to because... Well, I might have to because I'm bad at jumping. Oh, the Genesis game. Yeah, if I would have rented that game as a kid... I would have been so sad, but I don't think I was really that much of a Captain Planet fan as a kid. I was a tiny bit too old when it came out on TV, so I never really got into it. Like, I remember seeing it on TV, but I never really watched it. I mean, I probably watched it once or twice, but I wasn't like a Captain Planet fan. I wasn't singing like the Captain Planet song while running around my house. <laughs> Oh no, wait a minute. No way! Okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm, I'm not trying to 100% this game, so I don't care if I miss some toads or secrets or anything like that. I remember this game when I played it the last time. I remember this game being a lot harder. I mean, I'm not complaining that it's easy, but... I don't know why I was thinking this game was actually challenging. It's still fun, but... I just have a memory of this game being difficult. You used to watch Captain Planet all the time? Okay. Oh, Miss Camille, you got all the episodes of Captain Planet, so you, you were a Captain Planet fan. Okay, well that's cool, I mean, like I said, I, I vaguely remember watching the show as a kid, but um, I wouldn't exactly call myself a fan. Although I do remember watching, what was that, The Toxic Crusaders? I do remember watching that as a kid. I actually kind of like that one. With Toxie and... Not the movie, because the movie is like that raunchy, uh... Horror movie. <laughs> I'm talking about the kids cartoon version of Toxic Crusaders. Mr. Kamui, stream it, and Camille will be there. Oh, I don't know. Does, does Kamui want to stream the Captain Planet game? I have yet to find a spot where I'm supposed to use this ground pound ability. I don't know if I'm just blind or... I'm probably just blind. <laughs> yeah, Kamui, I, I don't blame you for not wanting to play the uh, Captain Planet game. Uh, do you know somewhere on Vibe Island a very odd enemy awaits you? It's shaped like a... Is that supposed to be a star? It's supposed to be all over from Who's Wood to Wavy Beach to Glacier to Gleam Glacier. So I heard you have to attack over and over to defeat it and prepare it when you find it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the tip, buddy. Pebbles and Bam Bam Show. Oh, I bet I can use this a bit, my my uh, whirlwind a bit ability to spin this thing. Come on, please. Okay, I heard a noise, so that, I'm, that must be enough. Right, so what did it do? I heard a noise. 
Oh, it raised up this thing? Is that what it did? For pe people who are paying attention, maybe, maybe they can tell me if that's what it did. I, I, I was too busy uh, tunnel vision trying to, uh, trying to, I don't know, make, uh, just daydreaming, I guess. <laughs> that's why I'm not good at games. I'm always too busy not paying attention at what's going on. Kamui. There's a toxic crusaders game on Genesis. Yeah, I always saw that. I remember even seeing that as a kid in a rental store, but I never, I never had the courage as an adult or as a kid to, to, to rent it. Because, you know, as a kid, you know, vi video game rentals were, you know, a pretty serious deal for me, so I had to make sure I picked the game that I'd like. So, you know, I would, it would take me like, Jeez, it'd take me like 45 minutes to <laughs> to pick out a video game. I'm sure my parents hated taking me to pick out a game. To, like I said, I remember it taking me like at least 45 minutes to, to make up my mind. <laughs> I was so afraid of getting a game that sucked. Oh, it is a bad game? Alright, well thanks for telling me. I mean, I might just play it as like a joke or something, but... At least now I know going in it's a bad game, I won't be disappointed. <laughs> of course I'm not uh, seven years old in anymore either, so that might help too. Camille will have to do a 24 hour stream of that game. Oh really? Well, that's not a good idea, Camille. Now I'd watch a 24 hour uh, um, Captain Planet stream. Especially if you did a Captain Planet stream with the Battletoads pause music in the background. Now that'd be a stream worth watching. Have to go AFK for a while, but I'll check the game out later. Thanks for the tip and have a great stream. Oh, thanks, Bo. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for following. Uh, hope to see you again sometime. And if you're in interested in more weird games, I have some mods on Twitch. Or you can uh, visit my YouTube. It's MaxPowerPG, just like my Twitch name. I'm not a very entertaining dude, but yeah, you can at least see some games that you might not have know, known about. Alright, cool man, thanks, and have a good day. And thanks for typing in the chat. You're one of the very few, you're one of the first Twitch people to uh, have an uh, actual conversation with me. Ah. Of course, my YouTube people, well, they're always, they're always here talking to me and stuff, keeping me company. So, yeah, I never thank them enough. Ah. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm not using my emotions enough in this game. <laughs> Almost like in real life. <laughs> yeah, I'm not using my emotions enough in this game. Cause I'm just sort of just like, you know, just sort of like uh, moseying on through the game, not really paying attention. Trying to, trying to chat with pe people in chat. Ah, please. Okay. There's actually a little bit of a timer on these springs. Spring jumps. Wow, I'm getting worse with my toad collecting abilities. It, it used to be I missed one, but now I'm missing two. <clears throat> oh, boss time. I don't remember this boss, so I must have quit halfway through World 2 the last time I played. Oh no, I... I don't like these these games, but I think they let me skip them. Oh no, they only let you skip them if you repeat them. You have to play them the first time. Peach, please, don't get stabbed in the face. This game's a really underrated game, and it's actually made by, you know, it's obviously made by Nintendo, you know, it's made by, you know, a really, you know, you know, like a popular developer and stuff. It's really, it's really refreshing. I wish Nintendo would release some, you know, 
more games like this. Ah. I mean, there's not even too many DS or 3DS games that are kind of weird and quirky like this that Nintendo releases. Alright, go. Go. Oh, please. There has to be some kind of cheat I can do on this emulator. If I can't do it, then I won't uh, make anybody suffer through watching me die 30 times in a row. Okay, we good. I think I took unnecessary damage with some of these eggs here. Yeah, I definitely took some unnecessary damage the first, the first couple times. Yeah, I can't let the eggs... Oh wow, look at that pro pro move. I need to stand in the middle of the screen here so he throws them. Okay, we're good. We're good. This could be it. Oh my gosh. Bad egg. Oh, how did I damage there? I damaged him somehow by unless Unless if I was fast enough, he does fly pretty low. Maybe I do jump high enough to get above him. Okay. Before I ran out of emotional uh, powers. So I don't really have very much emotion left inside me right now. Much like in real life. And the, oh, they just dropped a little tiny, little tiny, tiny piece of uh, power. Oh, that was the big one. I missed it. Okay, so I guess I do still have to fly above them. Oh wow, I'm taking all. I did so well in the first part too. Now I'm I'm messing up because I can't collect the crystals. I'm too slow to collect the crystals that fall out of the eggs. Yep. I could just keep <laughs> I love the fact that I'm just pounding the the, the crap out of the button just to, just so just so I don't accidentally take damage. Okay, I think I got enough power now. Um, oh please, please, gaming gods, give me the strength. Oh. Nope. King of chokes. Okay, okay, this is it. Yes! Always better to be lucky than good. That's if I was no if I had zero luck I'd never beat games. I did it. I didn't even have to give up yet. I might actually play the next world just because just because I'm I'm riding a uh, I'm riding an emotional high. Uh, oof, smack the same dream again. I didn't say again. It says uh, uh oh, it's a it's not a gnome. It's a goblin or whatever. Thanks, Kamui. You're the real. You're the real, uh, you are the real, um, person deserving of the GG's for watching that struggle. Thank you, Miss Camille. Must have fallen asleep again. Oh, my umbrella talks to me? I didn't even know it was alive. And he has a grandpa? Wow. The umbrella has a grandpa. <laughs> so why do they make camp at night? Like, I need to know the real story. 